PhD. Actually, uh, I am candidate uh, candidate to be a PhD supply chain consultant, uh, and for more than five years, I'm the partnership at GMDH Streamline, which means that. I am working now, I'm consolidating supply chain consultants globally to make sure that we can provide the best service and the best product possible for our clients. And again, since this webinar is for supply chain consultants, for uh, those who can be potential our common clients. Additionally, I am expert in comfort behavior, and I do have uh, a strong uh, psychological background. Uh, I have a uh, diploma uh, in psychology. So this is why today we will have something like mix between uh, supply chain, psychology, behavior, customer, clients. And uh, um, the most important target for today's webinar to learn and to make sure that we really know how to work with our customer, how to make them happy, and actually how to achieve our common goals. Because uh, at the end of the day, uh, they are common all of us. So it is short introduction of today's topic. And uh, right now, my favorite question, if you can uh, let me know where you're from, where are you located? Because uh, usually our webinars are global. We have uh, uh, partners uh, all around the world uh, globally. And uh, those who are working with us are located in different, absolutely different countries. So if you can just share your location, it would be nice. Just a minutes for that, a couple of seconds, sorry. Uh -huh. So we have Bangladesh, we have Mexico, wonderful. Okay. Germany, China, Colombia, beautiful. Uganda, USA, wonderful. Okay, so actually Egypt, thank you so much. So actually, uh, the same as I saw, we have uh, a lot of representation from different parts of the world. Dallas, you say, hey, Terry, nice to see you again. Um, so let's move forward. Let's move forward. And let's discuss actually what is important for me personally, and I do believe will be interesting for you too. Uh, hey, Manuel, Manuel for, from Spain. Okay, so a little bit about uh, webinar logistics. Um, today, I want you to be extremely uh, flexible in asking your questions. So, of course, we will have QA session at the end of this webinar, but uh, I prefer, you know, we have a little bit more interactive uh, environment. And if you have questions uh, uh, during this conversation, or as I already mentioned, if you have comments, if you want to share your uh, experience, go ahead and just do it, okay? Because again, we're all from supply chain background, we have those things uh, in common to share. Now, today we'll have two polls. I will ask you several questions uh, related to your background, to your experience. And uh, uh, usually asking if uh, uh, recording available. Yes, recording will be available. You will read that um, webinar will be recorded. Uh, we just had the sound. So you will receive recording and follow-up email just, uh, I believe, one or two days after today's webinar. So let's move forward to our agenda. and. If you're talking about agenda, uh, we will discuss long term strategic vision to better perform supply chain. Company. So, uh, what is that long term vision and strategies that helps us uh, to survive for uh, being in business and survive in business for years? What is that? Uh, we will discuss difference among ideal customer profile company profile and client persona, because this is very important. After we discuss it, and after today's webinar, it will be just common sense for, for you, I do believe. But I'm sure that right now, huge exists as those think, and I will explain to you later that by uh, mixing those definitions, we are losing a lot in and uh, the quality you have to deliver other services to other clients. So this is number two. Number three, we will uh, uh, try to define goals, requirements, and risks of supply chain manager, supply chain director, a team managers and director, and operational director. So <clears throat> talking about supply chain, mostly we are uh, communicating and interacting with those professionals. And I really want to focus a little on their needs and actual risks they're facing in their career and everyday uh, working life. At the end, instead of conclusion, we will discuss what is client centricity, uh, especially in digitalized supply chain consulting. So our world, our business are moving to uh, 
digitalization. And me personal, I'm advocate of uh, uh, business digitalization, but uh, everything has to balance at the same time. So if we're talking about digitalization of business, it means that um, in interaction with our clients, with human, we have to be very client-centric. And again, uh, business needs digitalization, but people need people. And this is what actually I want to discuss with you. And after that, again, QA, but uh, um, as I already mentioned, if you do have questions during this uh, conversation, go ahead and just ask, okay? Uh, so let's move forward, let's move forward. And uh, uh, let's start with this one. I just, before this webinar, just be empty worded and not to share only my personal opinion, I uh, um, search a little bit um, through different articles uh, from uh, actually articles, magazine sources, which are uh, trusted in uh, our industry. And just follow me and know if uh, actually not me, what is here makes sense to you. So number one, uh, losses due to inventory distortion has reached 1.0 billion globally in 2022, and they touch majority of businesses. Does it make sense to you? I do believe yes. So this is actually what you're working with. Number two, human error is the leading problem in 46% of warehouses. Do you see it in your everyday work? Again, guys, if you, you are from supply chain background, you're a supply chain consultant, or you are in supply chain, some kind of management position. So uh, yes, this is what is happening. Okay, 34% of businesses have shipped an order late because of the reasons, but actually this is what is happening, right? Now let's move forward. Uh, 67, uh, almost, uh, actually more than 67% of supply chain managers use Excel spreadsheets as a management tool, again. Benny, uh, first century, uh, right now it is impossible to stay in business just using a pen and pe pencil. Uh, even Excel is not enough and still we uh, use Excel a lot. Um, okay, and again, supply chain consultants who wants to bring this um, wonderful tools to companies, wonderful tools actually to our clients, but for some reason, it doesn't happen. Okay, let's move forward. Right now, we'll talk about visibility. And only 6% of companies report that they have full visibility on their supply chain. And 69 say that they don't have total visibility. Does it make sense to you? I'm sure yes. And the last one, supply chain visibility, is one of the top strategic priorities for, for companies around the globe. Again, as you can see, all of these researchers are 2021, 2022, so they're pretty fresh. Uh, they're not 2023 because researches which are done right now, uh, they will be published in a couple of months. So the best I could actually uh, find in the internet are researchers here. So right now, my question to you, <clears throat> let's do one more research here right now. Everything actually I uh, stated just here. Does it make sense to you? Do you see the same in your everyday life, uh, in your everyday? So what do you just have to do? Just give me an answer, yes or no. Do you agree with those trusted actual resources or no? And just in a couple of seconds, we will see the result. Okay, guys, please just, just click one button, yes or no. Let's just have fun. Let's just see actually how market reacts globally. Okay, do we have results right now? Uh, yes, it does make sense. Okay, wonderful. So we understand that it makes sense. In such case, guys, I have a question to you because uh, I'm working with supply chain consultants for many years. And I know how difficult it is to promote supply chain improvements uh, to our customers. So if it makes sense, why is it so difficult to promote supply chain improvements to our customers? Why is it so difficult to bring them this idea that in supply chain, visibility is top priority, that people make 
partners and we have to move forward improving supply chain we have to move forward uh with technologies we have to move forward uh to automating to save time to stop using uh tools which are not and which are not uh efficient sufficient effective right so why is it so difficult uh today actually my webinar is all about researchers so uh internally internally uh among uh, partners who are working with us we just had a small research just to understand um do they uh, actually how deeply and how clearly they understand uh, uh, people they're working with and what we learned is that about like 87 percent of supply chain consultants are doing one mistake mistake of um thinking mistake of understanding actually their clients right now i'm really interested interested if you do understand what kind of mistake i'm talking about but no we will not have this uh, question as uh, this quiz right now let's move forward and let me just uh, explain to you what kind of mistake I'm talking about. Um, look, as I already mentioned, right now uh, we are talking, to, we are moving to a more digital um, time, digital era of uh, supply chain, supply chain consulting, supply chain management, right? And it is very important to differentiate where we are talking about digital, where we are talking about company, about business, and where we are talking about real people because again you're trying to improve company but at the same time we are you are and we are all together we are working with real people so um usually most of our partners most of our supply chain consultants who are working with us they make a mistake of thinking that there is no difference or little difference between ideal customer profile company profile and client persona and this is actually what I want to emphasize and actually I want to show you this small difference which helps you to see a little bit better and understand your clients and their businesses and their needs and their career needs as well much better so let's move forward let me just double check if you don't have any questions right now we just have hello from Poland hey Thomas uh hello to you and let's move forward so let's just define what is the difference what is ideal customer profile if you just simply go to Google or oh, doesn't matter chat GPT doesn't matter anyone will tell you that this is a very important term uh it helps you to get detailed description of type of customer uh, that uh, uh, your company or if you're talking about your supply chain consulting you want to work with they will tell you about location about industry uh, if it's more general about job title about age um, so this is actually about ideal customer profile this is something that totally uh, to some level all of us we know actually have to define uh, is this definition true which I'm showing to you yes absolutely it is true <clears throat> but at the same time it is a bit too generic too generic and it doesn't give us this understanding actually with whom are we working what kind of problems we're solving as supply chain consultants and uh, uh, how actually to target and right now I'm talking about our attention and our energy okay so what is the alternative uh what I do believe is to be alternative if in sync when we are talking about our clients so let's move forward and uh when we're talking about our clients when we're talking about our ideal customer profile i do believe i strongly believe that we have to think about it in two different levels okay so first one has to be more strategic level and second a little bit more tactical uh, I would really like to ask you right now, do you understand this difference? So how do, of course you do, but I'm sure that you have different money, but we didn't prepare this quiz today. So let me just move to the next uh, uh, slide. And when I'm talking about strategic level, I'm talking about company profile. Uh, when I'm talking about tactical level, I'm talking about client persona. And these two are absolutely different. And what I see is that more legend consultant just make them even more. They don't make, they are absolutely great in company profile, 
But if we're talking about client persona, we don't usually pay attention to it. Let me uh, actually elaborate and explain to you. So if we're talking about company profile, usually uh, all supply chain experts, you are great in understanding uh, what kind of company you're working with. What are their problems? What is type? What is size? Industry, of course, easy. It's easy for you to define. Uh, it's easy for you to define what is business's goals. It's easy for you to analyze where they have problems, what to do to solve these problems, how to move forward, which solution to use, uh, what are KPIs. It's easy to you. But in such case, if everything's, if your, uh, if company, uh, your client, Let's. I don't know. If company, if your potential customer has problems and you know how to solve this problem, in such case, tell me, please, why is it so difficult to promote supply chain uh, consulting services? Maybe there is some mistake, actually, with, uh, mistake of thinking, and maybe there is some problem we usually forget about. And actually, yes, guys, there is a problem, and uh, this is why we understand company needs and we forget about people. We forget about client persona and uh, we always. And when I'm talking about this client persona, so please separate company profile and client persona. So talking about client persona, I'm talking about uh, some demographic data. And again, uh, age or gender is not important here. Absolutely no. What is important is our position duties and responsibilities, decision-making authority, pain points, behavioral pattern and trends, motivation and risks, etc. actually. But these are the most important. Motivation, risk, uh, pain points, decision-making authority, behavior, and uh, uh, position duty responsibility. So how many times did it happen to you? And actually, yes, we don't have quiz, but we have uh, um, we have chat. So, guys, just say, uh, just send to me plus or yes if uh, it happened to you that you have a uh, perfect company. You see their problem. You know how to solve their problem. At the same time, it's difficult for you to promote to them the idea that uh, you can uh, help them or that it, it is just difficult for you to start project with them. Uh, did it happen in your career? So supply chain uh, experts, please be uh, sincere and just uh, share your experience. Guys, I really want to hear your experience, really. I, For me personally, it's not interesting, just talk to myself. I really want to hear your experience. So just use chat and please send me, did it happen to you? Yes, finally, finally, really, uh, I'm a very strict uh, speaker. Uh, until I receive feedback, I will not continue. Thank you so much. Yes, it happened. Uh, yes, it is. It, it happens. And again, we have partners um, actually in all continents. Uh, I would say like 100 partners, supply chain and consultants. And guys, I just see it every day problem. Perfect experience uh, and background from supply chain consultant. Company has problem, consultant has solution. and uh, there is just uh, we just don't move forward we just it just doesn't work so why let's move forward let's move forward um let's step back a little bit and let's uh, uh, take a look at what um it's easy for you uh for you it is easy to understand again industry business model annual revenue right if you're talking about Company profile, it is easy for you to understand. Uh, is it a big company or small? Um, they are very close to your background. So let's say that you used to work with uh, um, automotive and you're perfect in automotive. So uh, this is your perfect profile. Maybe you will not work with chemical industry or maybe we will not work because they have absolutely different, you know, um, effects. But, you know, this is automotive. You can uh, understand it very quickly and you can start work with them. You understand business model. It doesn't take you, you don't even have to analyze business model, right? For you, it's uh, obvious. Manufacturer, wholesale, distributor, retail, e-commerce, you understand. Do you have experience? Can you be 
uh, efficient in this project or no. The same uh, company size. You, know, you prefer to work, let's say, with and you prefer to work with small companies, medium-sized companies. Uh, why? Because uh, decision maker is so close to you, you, you can close this deal quickly. Or some uh, supply chain consultants prefer to work with uh, uh, billion companies. Um, it is a little bit more complex, more complicated, but, but paycheck is bigger. So there are advantages in any case, and it's easier for you to identify. Is it your perfect client or no? Right, it's easier for you to understand geography, um, language, geography. Uh, it's easier for you to understand again what kind of technologies you can you work with new. Maybe it's better just to uh, recommend to work with a client. Let's say your colleague who has better experience. Uh, you absolutely understand. It just it takes you a couple of minutes to of conversation to understand problems they have, and you know how to. And it's absolutely easy for you to understand what is the level uh, of process maturity. Is it company, let's say this company uh, has huge potential for improvement. Let's say they're new to market, right? This is a small company and you have to train, you have to teach, you have to um, just be almost like a nanny for them, this first step in supply chain. Or maybe this is a mature uh, company and they just need to improve the new process. And it's easy for you to understand. But uh, in such case, again, why do we have this kind of challenges? Why do we have this kind of problems with, uh, when we are promoting supply chain consulting? That's more. What I want to actually uh, bring to you is that uh, it's not only company profile what we have to take into consideration. It's not only about business and technology and goals and budgets. Uh, we are working with people and we have to take into consideration also client personas. And we have done that if you are communicating with supply chain manager, he will have absolutely different um, mindset than supply chain director. If you're talking with uh, IT director or IT manager, uh, his goals and his uh, decision making this will absolutely do than uh, operational manager. And again, what I am telling to you right now, what I'm saying uh, at the end of this webinar and right after I finish my sentence, it makes perfect sense to you. And this is wonderful. But to make sure you use this knowledge in uh, your career, let me just uh, step by step uh, to dive a little bit deeper into the, uh, actually into this idea. So let's try to understand what is different between supply chain manager and supply chain director. Um, you will have this presentation, you will be able to read it, but let me just uh, emphasize. If you're talking about uh, supply chain manager, it means that this is a professional, um, but he has a uh, supply chain director as upper manager, right? That uh, supply chain manager, he is uh, responsible for inventory management, order fulfillment, demand forecasting, customer service, but he is not influencing decision making too much. If you're talking about supply chain director, um, he has a little bit different vision. He can be decision maker. He has to take care of uh, all supply chain uh, infrastructure. His responsibility is to make sure that all supply chain is uh, uh, operations run smoothly, right? To so understand what's happening, not only in one, let's say, like a department with some categories as supply chain manager. Supply chain director has to understand what's happening with all logistic and the supply chain process. And additionally, he has, he has different KPIs responsible for uh, efficiency and manage costs for many, many different things. But any anyway, we are talking about supply chain right now. Um, let's try to understand actually what is the difference between supply chain sector and T director or manager. Uh, I'm sure that in your life, you had uh, a lot of experience working with IT directors, right? And even when he's, his goal is right now to help supply chain 
uh, department work more efficiently and help them with some kind of solution, you will understand that he has absolutely different goals and different KPIs. Absolutely different. Uh, and they will not be, sometimes they will not be even close to what are KPIs for supply chain director, because it will be more about safety. It will be a little bit more about uh, connection, about um, even vendor. We will talk about it a little bit later in more details. But also pay attention that there is one more figure. It's operational director. And we are talking about even one step up, right? And we will be talking about SNOP here. Okay, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Uh, one more quiz for you. Uh, which client persona uh, do you work most often with? Um, if you're providing supply chain consulting, do you usually work with supply chain manager? supply chain director, IT manager or director, or operational director, or maybe other. Uh, again, um, maybe, maybe some other options I just didn't, uh, didn't mention here. Guys, you already know, I'm a very angry uh, speaker until you just push one button and give me answers, we will not move forward. And this is true. So uh, our support will show me actually the result and you will see that result. So again, supply chain manager, supply chain director, supply IT manager, or operational director. Okay, right now we have much better answer rate, guys. Congratulations. And thank you so much. Really, It's really interesting to working with you right now. Okay, supply chain manager, supply chain director. Uh -huh, nice statistics. So supply chain manager much more often than supply chain director. Uh, IT manager sometimes and operational director. Interesting. Interesting, actually. Interesting. Okay, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Other. If you can write down uh, other, what do you mean? Which kind of, actually, which position, what kind of title? It will really be interesting for us, for our marketing department. And I do believe for everyone who is visiting this uh, and attending this webinar. Let's move forward. Okay, supply chain manager. Let's uh, dive a little bit deeper and let's try to understand actually uh, who is that supply chain manager, right? As I already mentioned, um, it's not pretty much about age or uh, gender because right now, you know, our business world is very... Um, very different and a lot of varieties. So it's more about career, it's more about position and uh, leverage you have. But if you're talking about, so experience, pretty much it's easy to understand education, but uh, if you're talking about pain points, so uh, too much manual work overload. So uh, most, uh, you know, this everyday work, especially if you're talking about uh, work with Excel goes to uh, supply chain manager, not supply chain director, because he's more responsible for reports and stuff like that and the KPIs, but to managers. So they really have manual work overload. But at the same time, at the same time, pay attention. Uh, if we are going to risk and concerns, managers are those supply chain managers who are afraid of uh, automation and artificial intelligence. Do you right? You understand actually where is that conflict, right? So from one point they suffer. They would love to have some uh, tool which will help them, but from another they're afraid. And uh, if you don't understand about this conflict uh, inside of brain of single supply chain manager. You will be just, you know, like knocking the door and no one will answer it to you. Uh, yes, exactly. Manager don't want to uh, adopt a new system or software. It is true. They are afraid. Uh, at the same time, they are very much uh, about development, about financial compensation in case their efficiency levels up, right? So how can we work with that? How can we help those managers to overcome their fears and to be more efficient and actually help everyone to achieve their goals, company to be more efficient, them to uh, have less uh, manual work at the same time, be more efficient for you to achieve your personal uh, KPIs because your personal KPIs are to make uh, companies more efficient, but without this 
supply chain manager without him overcoming this field, you simply cannot do it. So what is my uh, very, very, very easy and simple um, trick for you to do? Uh, try to explain to the supply chain manager how his career can level up uh, after he or, uh, he or she starts um, adopting actually those technology, right? Just explain benefits. Don't try to uh, work with their fears, but explain benefits. Okay, when we have, um, when we have some problem, again, when we, when we have some problem, we have just to overcome and understand what benefits we can have when we overcome it instead of just hiding ourselves because what is happening and I'm sure that you, you saw it so many times um, here we have motivation but there is also one word which is procrastination if they are afraid they procrastinate to answer you and they start ghosting you and you're losing your opportunity your possibility just because of this stupid illogical fear which they they don't even realize and you didn't you didn't realize right now you know about it it will be easier for you to work it uh about decision making uh they have little power in decision making but they have huge power in stopping developing project this is what you have to keep in your, in your brain uh okay uh i have uh comments in my experience they're uh, keen on new technology but they want to keep the control of the decision uh they have power on exactly exactly they can use technology they know everything but they're so much afraid that technology will replace them that they simply don't want to lose this control so what do you have to explain them again explains that they will not lose control they will have better career and they will move forward okay so you have to give them this right idea because this is true if you can control technology you are moving forward if you cannot in such case yes you will be replaced and it's not only about supply chain it's not only about supply chain manager hope it is uh, helpful for you uh, we have one more comment Top management don't want to increase cost for additional software apart from their existing accounting software. They don't understand the importance. Uh, yes, they don't understand the importance of inventory management. So this is about management and we are moving forward to supply chain. We'll discuss it right now. Okay, supply chain director. Uh, what is the difference and uh, what is the difference uh, which risk uh, they see uh, what are pain points for them? What is motivation? What is decision-making uh, power? Again, uh, doesn't matter. Are we talking about lady? Are we talking about gentleman? Again, as you can see right now, business world, uh, there are no difference about age and gender, only professionalism and professional level. So pain points. Uh, supply chain directors they also have fear. Maybe they are not afraid of technology, but they are afraid of competition. And I'm not talking only about competition from competitors, different company, different retailer or different manufacturers. They are afraid of competition, which is inside. Um, they are afraid of change. So most people are afraid of change and it's easier for them just to be, uh, just to support status quo. Because uh, again, if uh, a supply chain director will initiate change and again uh most of them uh to supply chain director you have to be initiative you have to be smart you have to be to some extent fearless right you you shouldn't be uh, afraid of everything uh but at the same time yes they're afraid that uh, a solution or a new technology or new ideas they bring with supply consultants maybe they will fail and they will lose their reputation so a risk to lose uh competition uh to lose to the competition or risk to lose reputation is huge for supply chain director because higher you are more you can lose and of course they're afraid of that um if you're talking about um if you're talking about implementation a lot of our clients they already had some uh let's say here yeah, negative background negative experience and, um, and we will discuss it in more a little bit more uh, details later. So uh, if you're talking about motivation, uh, of course, we have to explain to them that uh, solution, idea, technology, or strategy, which we are bringing to them, will improve team performance, will uh, uh, help them to achieve company goals. So we just have to understand what is important for them, what motivates them, and we just have to make sure that we are 
on the same page. And if you're talking about uh, decision-making power, um, again, supply chain directors, they have high authority in making decision, but very often they will try to share this uh, uh, responsibility with other team members. And usually we are talking about IT director and uh, operational director. So supply chain, again, if you're talking about supply chain directors, usually they're very smart. They want to move forward. They want to achieve but they are very uh, careful. Let's call this careful, okay? Uh, we have several comments before we go to the rest of the team members, uh, uh, IT director. Uh, management gained too much confidence in supply chain managers and uh, compromise on some controls. Uh, yes, this problem exists, but again, this is problem. For management, it is a huge problem because uh, people, let's say um, someone, for example, there is perfect supply chain manager who is doing perfect job with Excel, but person, I don't want to uh, talk about some bad cases, right? Let's like someone dies or something. But, uh, so let's just say that person decided to be a photographer and uh, make a hobby uh, to support their living. They just change their hobby. They change, they, they, they change their career. They change industry to work with. And what are supposed management to do? Uh, what, is, uh, what is the right solution? So the best, actually, if they trust supply chain managers, this is wonderful. But Company shouldn't suffer if some talented supply chain manager decided to be a photographer or singer or dancer, right? So um, company has to be much more stable. And again, this is value. Uh, right workflow, this is value which you as supply chain consultant can and have to sell to your uh, clients. If your client is a supply chain director and he is too much dependent on a uh, supply chain man, you just uh, have to explain to them that, guys, simply this is dangerous. This is dangerous. You, you shouldn't be so much dependent on that. Okay, let's move forward. Right now, uh, we already mentioned that supply chain director uh, tends to share responsibility for taking decisions with team members, uh, approximately the same level. And first of them is IT manager or IT director. It doesn't matter, IT manager, IT director. I, you, um, it's about, again, pain points, what we are going to discuss today, uh, risk and concerns, motivation and decision-making power. The most, uh, the most important things uh, from my humble opinion. So pain points. If you're talking about IT director, they have absolutely different KPIs. They don't care about a supply chain, about demand forecasting accuracy. They don't lose their salary and lose their position if demand forecasting uh, is not accurate. They don't care about supply chain sustainability or something like that. No. Uh, they care only about uh, uh, safety of data, uh, they care about um, all technology um, architecture in a uh, company, they care about connection and what they love, they love when, when technology works uh, appropriately, uh, when there are no bugs, when they don't have to communicate with uh, customer support of vendor too much, they don't want to have too many different uh, vendors, they want to work with single uh, vendor for some, let's say like for some problem solving solution, right? And uh, they want to make sure, and they would prefer to have a uh, um, bigger brand, even if that bigger brand makes, uh, gives less, um, let's say like less feature or is less efficient, still they prefer to work with well-known vendor just to make sure that they protect themselves. Just they, they protect what they do. They always can say, but this is a so famous brand. Uh, it is not our fail that, uh, let's say, implementation failed. So again, IT directors, they don't care about supply chain efficiency so much. They care about their guys. Uh, so what does it mean? It, you should find different key to their heart. You have to explain to them uh, that 
solution or strategy or idea which you bring will not be difficult for them to implement, will not uh, be risky for a company, the data is secure, that um, they will not need to waste too much time or invest too much of their time into uh, problem solving, that whatever you are bringing to them is reliable. So uh, they they have different KPIs and they have different concerns and you have to work with those concerns uh, um, and speak their language. And if you're talking about decision-making power, uh, same, they have very strong influence. Actually, guys, I had um, just recently some of our um, friends, our partners, consultants, they were uh, losing uh, deals because IT directors didn't support, even though supply chain directors wanted to, uh, some solutions. So um, again, with supply chain consultants, we are communicating, we know all that, and IT directors, even though they're not from supply chain department, they influence. Uh, let me um, let me read some comments. What kind of person can we compare a uh, purchasing manager to? Purchasing the supply chain manager stakeholders uh good question actually uh good question we have to um purchase manager actually to think about it let me let me actually move forward with one more uh persona here uh, we can come back to that question later so the last one again there are a lot of persona and a lot of uh, um, professionals inside of company but i don't want to uh, discuss too many of them we don't have too much time just in 15 minutes we have to finish um so let's uh, uh, shortly discuss operational director right um again if you're talking about pain points um he is afraid to lose uh, finances he wants to make sure that a uh, company team is efficient and consolidated he wants to have high array on all operational levels and if you're talking about risks um, here we have actually pretty much everything what was in supply chain uh, director risks. Uh, they are afraid uh, to choose a strategy or a solution which is not efficient, which uh, will not bring success. Um, at the same time, he is afraid to lose uh, uh, budget. He is afraid uh, that maybe um, implementation process will not be smooth and will not be successful. The same as IT director, right? So operational director has all of these concerns and uh, communicating with him. We have to keep it in mind. And if you're talking about operational director, we have to understand that for him, it is very important to make sure that team, not only IT, not only supply chain, but all team is working uh, smoothly. And that all departments uh, give back very high uh, ROI. And here we are supposed to talk about SNOP. So if we're talking about SNOP, if we can uh, explain to operational directors that our strategy which we are bringing, that our solution which we are bringing will help uh, to maintain great SNOP process, uh, in such case we may have success here. Because uh, for this gentleman or lady, uh, this is the most important. So all company has to work in balance. This is important. And this is my KPI for uh, for this lady or this gentleman. Let's move forward. Let's move uh, for you uh, useful. Uh, right now, I want to give you several examples, actually, how uh, work, which question actually to ask, because again, all of you, you're great experts if you're talking about business analysis, but uh, in, I already promised you that instead of conclusion, we will have client centricity. Um, this, this is what we will be discussing. And I do believe that client centricity uh, in digital supply chain consulting, this is actually what what is really important right now. Remember, at the beginning, I told you that business needs digitalization. Me personally, I'm advocate of digital twin. I do believe that uh, pen and pencil is not enough right now. Excel is not enough. If we, uh, I mean, if our clients really want to uh, be competitive, they have to use AI-based solutions. They have to use digital twins. They have um, top-level technology right now. But if you're talking about uh, consulting, if you're talking about um, working with people, 
People need people. Our business needs digitalization, but people need people. So uh, let's uh, practice a little bit and let me share with you some of my uh, actually tools. So questions I do believe are efficient when we are communicating with our, let's say, potential client, right? Because um, this is the most difficult to promote our supply chain consulting and to prove that this is something a uh, company and uh, Professionals who are working for that company have to invest uh, for all the time. So um, while communicating uh, with um, any uh, person, any professional, it is very important actually to understand uh, where is that person in that corporate hierarchy and uh, decision-making process is. And uh, only understanding title job title um, and position you sometimes is not enough and uh, you really have to be more customer or person oriented to understand uh, more background about the professionals so what I do usually ask I usually try to understand for how long that person is working uh, with this company and not a little bit too pushy uh, I usually try to cover this question with a compliment so I usually ask, you seem to be quite familiar with all of this all of customer, all of this uh, company's requirements. So for how long have you been working for this company? And again, if you understand that someone is only starting his or her career, this is one situation. If you hear the answer that uh, this person is working for quite a long time, it is absolutely different, right? Um, the same. Um, for you, it is very important to understand whose initiative was to develop the project. Do you remember uh, at the beginning when we were analyzing in more details different uh, client personas, manager, IT director, uh, supply chain director, we understood that uh, um, there were many different things happening in team. Some team members are supporting, some team members are uh, contrary to some projects. So what you have to understand, you have to understand whose initiative is to do certain projects, for example, to invite you, right? And it is easy. If you need this information, just ask. Uh, and you will have different answers. Someone will tell that it was my personal uh, initiative, but it was supported by upper management. Someone tell it was my personal and hopefully it will be supported. It means that probably you will have a, a, a quite difficult time explaining to upper management why uh, uh, your initiative is uh, good for them. Maybe uh, someone will tell you my direct manager uh, initiative was just a project. In such case, it looks like you have quite position, but at the same time, you have to understand. Uh, so let's say you're talking to a supply chain manager, director, a supply chain director wanted to start a project, but what you have to understand, does he have support of director? Does he have support of operational manager? So you have to understand all of these connection inside of company in order to make sure that your project is successful. Only your experience, expertise, and uh, high status of supply chain consult enough. You have to understand all of these processes coming inside. Okay, let's move forward. Let me check how much time. We still have five minutes. We will finish uh, on time. No, no worries. So um, one more. You have to understand challenges which current workflow and previous experience may bring to client personas, depending again on their title and their position, right? You have to understand, uh, for example, this question, how challenging is it for you to do something on a daily basis? And if you're talking to a supply chain manager, you have to ask uh, how difficult, how, how complicated it is for him to manage demand in Excel, for example. You have to analyze. For um, supply director, you will ask to control all team efficiency manually. Is it difficult for you? And with high probability, it will be, and you will receive a lot of information. But for uh, IT director, IT manager will have different question. To maintain all users manually, is it difficult for you? For uh, operational manager to control all departments collaboration manually. Again, we have to start thinking a little bit like our 
clients. And again, I'm not talking about company, I'm talking about people you're working with, right? So the, the biggest mistake is to be too much professional and not to, uh, enough uh, psychologist or not to, uh, enough. Uh, so you are too much supply chain and not enough consultant, right? So you have to be supply chain. You, you are already supply chain, but right now you have to be consultant. You have to be a little bit more like people oriented to uh, to overcome this uh, um, personality issues. Now, sometimes uh, uh, people we are communicating with, and again, we want to bring to them some of our ideas, some of our strategies, and we have to learn, did they have some negative experience related to what you are uh, sharing with them in past? So maybe they had poor user experience. Uh, so they were trying to use some solutions, some kind of technology, and they uh, had poor user experience. And right now the supply chain manager will say, no need for any solution, supply chain works, uh, Excel works better or paper works better. I trust them more. Maybe uh, some supply chain director already felt implementation, and this is why he changed uh, previous uh, job, previous company. Maybe some uh, IT director had problem with data uh, security in uh, with some vendor, or maybe uh, there was some inefficient budget allocation. If you're talking about uh, um, operational director, right? So, um, and again, if you don't ask this question. With a high probability, you will not be aware of this huge problem inside of their brain. And after that, you're asking yourself, why did I lose? I have right solution for them. I have a lot of experience working with companies like them. At the same time, I have lost this uh, project. Why? Just simple, not because of you, but uh, before uh, you came to this company, they already lost one um, uh, they had uh, inefficient implementation or some inefficient and right now they just uh, they are afraid to have it again and status quo is much easier for them they, are, they will not get fired for status quo um, support but if they have um, some failure implementations they may be so just keep this in mind don't focus only in your uh, uh, knowledge focus also in their uh, fear and in their background okay let's move forward let's move forward uh, one more question from me. Um, I love having webinar for supply chain consultants, and here are some topics which I'm go I'm thinking actually uh, to prepare for future. And among them, you can see uh, positioning, how to position your supply chain business. Um, how to hire a dream team to better perform your supply chain consulting business, how to define correct target audience for your supply chain consulting, how to increase the brand awareness, how to develop your supply chain consulting strategy, uh, right OKR and uh, goal achievement, how to get more clients, and maybe there is an option you want to discuss something during webinars. So guys, if you give me uh, answers uh, to those uh, to this questionnaire, I'll do my best actually to prepare this uh, topic for you for next time. I believe maybe like one month or so it will take me to prepare it. So I will be really, really happy to, to do it. Okay, so let me know our support I will show us the results. If you do or don't have, I will wait until we have those results. Really, uh, working with supply chain consultants, this is actually what makes me uh, absolutely happy because, you know, uh, supply chain consultants are usually very smart people and I just enjoy working with smart people. Strategy, analysis, uh, um, creating something new in this world. So which is still we don't have us, right? Guys, please give me answers. I really want to understand what is interesting to you. Okay, we do have, we do have, and uh, um, the most interesting topic for you is how to develop your supply chain consulting strategy, right? OKR and the goal achievement. Perfect, nice topic. How to direct target audience for your supply chain consulting. Uh, I just love this topic. It is so much important. I, I really want to do it. I think this one is my favorite. Um, how to position your supply chain business. Okay, nice too. And how to increase brand awareness for you and your business. Okay, and how to hire a dream team. Yes, dream team is important. Dream team is something that makes our business strong. Wonderful. I'll do my best to prepare for you. 
uh, we have one more, how to navigate an organization venue, uh, creating as uh, initiative and need from scratch, long sales, long sales process. Oh my God, I love this topic too. Uh, okay, yes, so we, will, we will work on it. Right now, all right. Um, let's discuss next steps. Next step. So when we are communicating with supply chain uh, consultants, uh, when they come to me, uh, usually we are talking about uh, next steps. If you don't have vision, if you don't have next step, how will you move forward? Your uh, small children uh, move with small steps and we have to do the same. So next step is to build a strategy. So think about actually uh, how you can move forward, uh, what is your strategy, what are your goals, what are your OKRs, and actually for next webinar, it would be nice actually if you come already with some OKRs and we can compare what is my vision and what is yours. Um, next step is also expanding your portfolio, right, uh, with customer-oriented solution, with user-friendly interface and uh, attitude. So think about uh, what kind of company you want to serve and uh, what kind of solution you want to bring to them. And uh, uh, you can also book a meeting with me. We can schedule one-on-one -one session. Um, again, I have worked with supply chain consultants for many years. Uh, uh, I would be really happy to, to help you, uh, to support you in your uh, developing your consulting business. So if you want, just book one-on-one -on -one meeting. Now, it's all about... Guys, I want to recommend to you some further reading. Um, long time ago, I was working in education, so I do believe that doesn't matter how great an uh, expert you are right now, you have to move forward with new technology, with new information, guys. I recommend you this article. This is from McKinsey. Uh, the human touch uh, at the center. Uh, just give me a second at the Center of Customer Experience Excellence. Uh, one thing I want to recommend to you, I already told that I'm a great advocate for digital for business. So this is about uh, digital twins. This is a, a book which me and my team were working on uh, for almost a year. It's about digital twin in supply chain. Again, just for you to read, maybe you're interested in this topic. And uh, all uh, articles, all uh, sources received in chat right now. Uh, in two minutes, I finish, I swear. One more, how digital twins can help supply chain survive disruption. Very important, as I already mentioned, uh, digitalization for business. People to people, people need people, but businesses need digitalization in our time. And one more, oh, I do apologize, one more. Uh -huh. Five ways artificial intelligence can benefit demand forecasting and inventory planning. Uh, one more article I want to recommend to you. It's also, again, about supply chain planning, uh, inventory planning. Uh, something that we have to read, the uh, last two articles from Forbes, what we have to read in order to stay just updated what's happening in our industry, because um, this is actually what our clients uh, value most. We have to come to them and be much more educated about supply chain trends than they are right now. They pay us for knowledge and experience. And right now, we still have one minute for questions. If you do have, let me know. And I'm happy to answer your questions right now. Actually, since there are no questions, it looks like I did my job very well and answered all of questions during the webinar. Please send all the links through email. Of course, I will ask my team to do it. You will receive it in follow-up uh, email. Okay, any other questions, comments? Okay. In such case, please let me know if this webinar was useful to you. Did you learn something? Did you learn something? If not new, in such case, maybe something that will help you work more efficient uh, starting from today or tomorrow with your clients. And guys, I will not finish the webinar until I receive answers from you, of course. So was it useful? Uh, do you believe that it will help you to have better focus when communicating with your clients? Carolina Lopez, thank you so much.
Okay, yes, it was very informative. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Carolina. Wonderful. Wonderful. In such case, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Uh, all information will be sent to you in email just in a couple of days, I believe. And talk soon on next webinars. Uh, uh, nice meeting you. And uh, have a nice day, evening, morning, depending on actually where you're located. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.